Hello, it's Kevin and I'm coming to you from the shores of beautiful Bidet Makaska in South Minneapolis. And if you're interested in getting a first-hand tour of one of the most exciting and vibrant neighborhoods in Minneapolis, stay tuned because today we're doing a drive-through tour of Uptown Minneapolis. Stick around. So Uptown actually encompasses multiple neighborhoods, Lindale, Calhoun Isles, Uptown, but uh, most people in this area would just refer to this area as Uptown. And we're gonna be crossing some of the specific neighborhood boundaries and we're just gonna call it an Uptown tour. And we are on Lake Street, crossing the Lake Parkway and now pulling right in nearly to the heart of Uptown, which is the Lake and Hennepin intersection. So you'll see in this neighborhood, there's, I mean, there's lots of residential apartments, new condos, old apartments, houses, but this is a pretty popular commercial and retail district of the city as well. Lots of restaurants, lots of bars, um, shopping, and kind of a real cool vibe in this neighborhood, especially in the summertime. So we're cruising down Lake Street, headed east away from the lake, and we are crossing Hennepin Avenue right now, and that might literally be considered the very heart of Uptown. And we've got bars and restaurants and a little Target there. You'll see apartments and condos above these bars and restaurants. So like I said, a real vibrant neighborhood. And we're going to be kind of making a double loop around Uptown today, heading east on Hennepin and we're going to go north on Lindale, which is kind of might be considered the uh, eastern boundary of Uptown, although Lindale Avenue would be considered an Uptown. they got a lot of great restaurants and bars. And we're going to loop back in uh, through that main intersection and just see what there is to see in Uptown. We just crossed Lindale. Uh, we've got a uh, no left turn policy this time of day because of traffic. So we'll loop around in the neighborhood here and head back north on Lindale. Get a look at some of the homes. And housing in this area, it goes from the high 100s, close to 200 for like a one bedroom, one bath condo. And you can get up into a million with some of the homes closer to Lake of the Isles or some of the uh, newer condominiums built right over here um, at the main intersection near Lake and Hennepin. So there is a variety of housing in this neighborhood, as you'll see as we drive through. Now we're back to Lindale and we're gonna take right and head north. Salons, restaurant, bar, bars, everywhere you look around here. And now we just crossed Lake, so we're headed north on Lindale, just past Lake Street. Got some condos on the left and more restaurants on the right. So again, I would consider Lindale, which is a main north and south route through the uh, South Minneapolis, as kind of the eastern boundary of uptown, but still it feels right in the heart of it. crossing 28th Street. 28th and 26th are kind of main thoroughfares that cut all the way across 
South Minneapolis crossing uh, Highway 55 Hiawatha Avenue, which is kind of has limited access. So 28th heads one way in the easterly direction and 26th, which we'll be turning on, heads one way west. And we're coming up to 26th Street now. All right, we just turned west onto 26th Avenue, and we are going to be headed through the neighborhoods here um, back towards Hennepin. We'll head south into the heart of the district. In the meantime, give you a look at uh, some of the housing and structures along 26th. Thanks for joining me today. By the way, my name is Kevin Huntington. I'm the managing broker of the independent real estate firm Metro Home Connection Realty um, in the Twin Cities. And I'm making a lot of these tours. So if um, you're enjoying the tour of Uptown, I uh, encourage you to hit like on the video. That'll help me out. Um, but also hit subscribe because I've got a lot more of these uh, videos to come of tours of neighborhoods and suburbs throughout the Twin Cities metro area. We are on 26, crossing Hennepin, and we'll be heading south into the heart of Uptown. But uh, let's just give you a look around. Again, on Hennepin Avenue, which goes straight into downtown, lots of commercial development, shopping, restaurants, bars, in all directions. And we've got the uh, new Walgreens that just went in here on the corner of 27th. Got the bus transit station here. Got one of the Minneapolis Public Libraries. And in the distance you can see the sign for the Uptown Theater, which uh, is usually lit up at night and is uh, kind of a great icon of the Uptown neighborhood. Coming back up to Lake Street, and this time we'll be crossing and heading south. A lot of new construction, but you get a look at some older buildings definitely repurposed in the neighborhood as well. A lot of really great restaurants and unique bars in this neighborhood. And as we get south of 31st, you'll see we'll get away from some of the commercial and retail and more into some of the residential areas of town. So we'll go a little further and then uh, take a turn and get a look at some of the housing stock before we um, get too far south. But it's interesting in this neighborhood, development's been going on here for a long time and there are buildings and homes going as far back as the early 1900s um, many of which have been torn down and rebuilt so you've got actually brand new construction pro uh, properties going up in the neighborhood as well and a lot of these old apartment buildings the brownstones and these uh, brick kind of like three-story buildings during the last real estate craze 
uh, around 2004 and 2005, a lot of these old apartment buildings, uh, two bed, one bath apartments were purchased and converted into condos uh, during that last real estate boom that we had. So, um, whereas most of these buildings used to be apartments, now a lot of them are condos built in buildings or built into buildings that were refurbished, but originally built in the early 1900s. Coming up to DuPont and we will head north. A lot of the single family homes or what appears to be single family over the years have been converted into duplexes with either side by side or uh, mainly up and down living for two, sometimes three. I guess if it's a triplex, there'd be three, but uh, multi-family multi buildings. And you can see these apartments and condos are built right in next to the uh, standard single family houses. Coming up to 31st Street. So 31st Street, if you uh, went, I think that way as you look, that does take you out in about, about a mile, will get you on to Interstate 35W, not at this time. This video is being filmed in June of 2021, and they've just gone through a four year massive reconstruction project on 35W. As we continue our concentric circles around Uptown, we are now heading north and crossing Lake Street again and turning on to Lagoon, which is going to kind of curve west and take us back towards Hennepin. So really getting a good inside and outside look of the Uptown neighborhood. Just crossed Emerson heading west on Lagoon, passing the Lagoon Theater, and we are headed back up to Hennepin Avenue. We've got that Uptown Marquee at the Uptown Theater. And as we head north on Hennepin now, we are very close to downtown Minneapolis. In fact, it's just a few minutes up the road, about a mile and a half into downtown, which I'll have a tour of as well. So thanks a lot for joining me on this tour of uptown Minneapolis. Again, I encourage you to like this video if you liked it and subscribe. In the meantime, I'll put a couple more videos up on the screen that, uh, that you may like to watch as well if you've enjoyed this tour of uptown. Thanks and have a great day.